Hey everyone, I am so, so excited because today I get to share a special story from a client of mine, Paulina. Paulina was experiencing a general fatigue and lack of energy. And we're gonna learn so much about her story because she's here with us today. And she was able to break through and it was with my program and this methodology of dancing to release that she was able to get out and break the blockages that she was experiencing. She is a beautiful person and I'm so honored to have her here. And if you haven't watched the last few videos, please go back and watch them. I've been giving a lot of valuable information about how to use dance as a powerful tool to release and to uh, get rid of just stagnant energy that is blocking you and making you feel tense in your physical body and in your mental space. So everybody, please welcome Paulina. So good to see you. It's so good to see you and I'm so happy to be here. I'm so excited to talk about you because, well, I talk about you all the time anyway, so I'm happy to be here and do it officially. I love your story and I really wanted to give anybody listening and any of these viewers I want you to share the story because it, it just hits differently coming from somebody like you. And I just would love to start off by asking, you know, what was your life like before you started doing this program where you were dancing regularly to release? What did your life look like before? And also give us some insight into what it looked like after. So it before any uh, idea about exercising was this big effort that I sort of had to beat myself into submission to do or try and get like a rhythm going. And it was during the pandemic and we had become, my husband and I had become extremely sedentary. And as part of that sedentary, uh, I saw your Havana video on YouTube and I was just so taken by it and so amazed by it that I, you know, started looking around and found out more about you. And I literally couldn't move. I was by sedentary. I mean, like, you know, we have a small studio apartment in New York. We were home all the time. Um, we were basically in bed or on the couch. We weren't working. And uh, my right knee is extremely painful or was, I should say. And I started to look more into your program. I couldn't understand why I had waited so long when I finally signed up and it changed everything, uh, in a, in a bizarre way that I didn't expect. And that's like from the, from the gut, it's really unbelievable. Can you give us a little bit of insight of what it changed for you? So I was feeling very old and I, but I had also danced, you know, I had instructional dance a lot when I was younger and music and dance was always a big part of my life. And when I started doing your videos, I was in front of a mirror and I was very um, embarrassed of my body and of my movement. And I was a little bit shocked at just the effect on aging and being sedentary had had on me. So I stopped looking at myself in the mirror when I was doing the videos. And I just started, like, I almost had to hide myself from myself for the first few weeks. And one of the biggest things was I was enjoying two things that really affected me was the music. And then the second thing was um, it didn't take long before I lost that self-consciousness about the way I was moving and my body started to like, you know, it felt like a plant being watered where all of a sudden the agility started to come back. And I was just having fun. And I remember having this thought of, I'm not doing this anymore to get in shape. I want to be in shape to be able to do this. So the music was like lifting me up and I was feeling just more alive or like part of something or just part of the world. 
and also my body, which had been stiff. And I think the change in how those around me perceived me was, all right, she's not 75. She's only, you know, 55 or whatever. And the other thing that really started to have an influence on me was the sense of community and that thing that you do where you were saying to everybody, okay, we're not starting until everybody says something they're proud about. And that wasn't something I had been in the habit of doing. I was more in the habit of beating myself up. But every class, you were making people say things that they were proud of. People were going through a lot of stuff. And so it was all these things coming together that were making me just like bloom. That's the best word I can use is bloom. And, um, and I was having fun. I think something that resonated with me a lot is, you know, when you, when you said you first started taking the class, you had a mirror and you were looking at yourself. And this was as you were taking your first classes and you hadn't danced in a long time. And I think that is the biggest thing that stops people from taking a leap to dancing and and dancing regularly and they don't allow themselves to go through that process that you went through because they stop at the beginning and it's because they feel embarrassed they feel awkward they feel ashamed and one of the biggest things that we stress in this program that I teach and that I have te taught for years is this idea that you have to focus on the internal experience on the internal release you cannot focus on the external appearance and that's why we use the word a somatic release when it comes to these classes this is not dance fitness it's not just dance fitness it's not dancing to learn how to twerk to learn how to get your technique perfectly sure those things will happen you will burn calories you will sweat but the biggest the biggest takeaway is that feeling of, you know what, I'm just going to let myself be where I am. And I'm just going to enjoy the moment and take mm -hmm. the pressure off. And just exactly what you're saying, just kind of just let go. And I think what you're describing is incredible because you, you stuck with it and correct me if I'm wrong, but I know in some of our conversations, it was not until you had been repeating the classes and doing mm -hmm. them weekly. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the biggest things that we also recommend is, you know, hey, you can't just pop into a class and do it once or twice. You're not going to get that same, you're not going to get to that really cathartic special release if you just give up after the first few weeks. You know, you have to do it in this kind of method that we present to you because then you start to surprise yourself. You start to be impressed with yourself and your body and your body starts proving you, you wrong. Your body starts saying, no, I, I get that. I got this. I memorized this mm -hmm. and your brain, your brain is growing. So I just, I really appreciate your story and you sharing that. It's just, it's just great. And the way my body feels now is, uh, well, the only way I can al analogize it is I went from like 10 Advil a day down to like two. And that's just my, I think, agey kind of thing. And maybe some days I'm not even taking it. So, but I was taking, I was living on Advil. So wow. made a big difference. Wow. Made a I big actually, difference. I actually did not ever know that. That was going to be my next question is from the start of taking my classes and doing the program to after what I would describe it as is, is, is um, you unlocked something within yourself. Mm -hmm. And that's, mm -hmm. that's really what this program is about unlocking a connection. And the reason we built this course is so people can own these videos and have access to them whenever. And mainly so that people can understand I'm here to lead you to this, but you you are doing the work of unlocking this really powerful connection that is going to be used as a tool in your life to help you balance, restore, heal through the darkest times, through the brightest times, whatever you're going through. It's, it's not a promise that you'll be happy forever. It's not a, a promise that you'll be rich and successful and lose this amount of weight. It's it's a promise that you will build a really powerful tool and you will unlock a connection. You know, you said you went from taking 
multiple Advils a day to taking either none or just one because of the mental release of dance. Did you feel like you had less pain? Could you just explain a little bit of that? Yeah. yeah. I hadn't been working out. I hadn't been walking, running. I was really sedentary and whatever I did do was generally, generally done like in a chaotic rush to get somewhere. All of a sudden it's like, you know, and my other, it's just like the Tin Man and the Wizard of Oz. It was like <clears throat> getting oiled, you know, when things start to move. And part of it, the way you would string together songs and talk about, you know, you would have like very empowering. I was getting oiled because I was using my joints and my muscles and I hadn't been. Um, even when I was, before the pandemic, when I was active, everything I was doing was, like beating myself into submission, you know, like, oh, I'm going to run now, or I'm going to walk, or I'm going to get on the treadmill, or whatever. And it wasn't joyful. When I was dancing, when I was doing Melody Dance Fit, I was having joy. And joy is like, I think, the secret ingredient. And great choreography that's doable, and these great songs, I just would experience so much joy. And I think the joy is a, is a physical lubricant as well. I really do. One other thing that I experienced and it's stayed with me is I learned not to tolerate things in my life that aren't acceptable. Um, one thing that really changed with this program, because you talked about not caring so much I can't put it into a phrase, but not like not caring so much about what people think that's kind of stayed with me and escalated a little bit with me because I'm a people pleaser. So now if, if I'm doing something and I'm listening to music and I'm moving around, yeah, you know, you want to be socially normal if you're in public, but I don't care what people think of me and, and not just on that level, on a lot of levels, like I'm fun, I'm crazy, I'm a little impulsive, I'm a little chaotic. But if you don't like me, I don't care. I don't care so much as I used to. And that's really come from getting back in this place. I really started to not care as much about other people and their judgments. I'm, I'm happy being me. So, and that's with the facial paralysis that I have and, you know, a little bit of extra around the middle. I just don't, I don't care anymore. You know, I've gotten a lot more self-accepting. Yes, I love that. I love that you ended with that word. You know, in the in the program, we do have like a whole module dedicated to acceptance. And I think that dance really is kind of the first step. It's that lubricant, as you put it. it it's the oil that gets the engine moving. Mm -hmm. And once once the engine starts moving and it starts going, you start along the way, you start grabbing this and it, and it might be like, oh, I'm unabashed now. Oh, I feel mm -hmm. confident now. I feel proud. I feel proud. And I think that dancing with the intent of this release, not just dance, because I grew up dancing. I grew up competing and I never felt, I never felt the way I do in these classes and in this program. I never felt that in my technical dances because it was about being a certain way and it was about fitting into a certain box and it was about having the best technique. And when you take, when you shed all those things away from dance and you just focus on the internal release and cultivating joy and doing it for nobody but you and doing it for your sanity, for your peace, to protect yourself and to honor yourself in this way of, you know what? I... I've had a rough year. I don't feel my best, but guess what? I still deserve to celebrate myself. And so what I'm going to do to celebrate myself is I'm going to move my body to fun music. And I'm just going to take all of this pressure off because you're right. You know, society is constantly trying to put us in a box. People are constantly demanding things from us. Everybody wants us to be a certain way that we often do forget. We forget how to connect with ourselves. We forget how to zone in and just honor who we are, who we've always been. And I love that you mentioned that. I love that you mentioned that you also experienced something outside of this program in your, in your regular life, you know, just, oh, I'm not, I'm not as bothered by other people not understanding me because I have that connection with me and I'm 
And I'm just so happy. I don't have time to notice. I love this idea of acceptance and the power, the power that comes with not caring. There's so much power that comes with freeing yourself and not caring. And that's really what we, I mean, you're, you're the ideal person who you did that, you know, and wait, I I just realized I have to tell you this other thing that's happened as a result of this, which I, it didn't even occur to me before. Um, So I created a playlist. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I I have to share this with you because it just occurred to me. I created um, a playlist and I called it MDF. Every time I had to do something that seemed so difficult and so insurmountable, and I put my headphones on and I danced through it. There's been things I've had to get through. And if I put a song on that I've danced to with you and keep playing it, I can get through the task. Because that's, I was literally dancing to my laundry. <laughs> I love that. I love that. You mentioned this because I, I really see this happening a lot in the fitness world. So you're, you know, you're stressed at a job and this is a general you, you're stressed at a job, you're tense, you're at your computer. And then you think, okay, well, I'm now going to go work out because I need to work out for my health. And maybe it'll be a nice, like a nice change. Right. So you go to the gym and you do just, just this regimented rigid workout. And you know, you are, don't get me wrong. It's good for you, but you're not necessarily experiencing joy. And you're not unlocking your body to relax. And you have your mindset focused not on, okay, how many calories can I burn? How about how much fun can I have in the next hour? How much can I turn my brain off and just just enjoy this moment? How can I be be present and use this movement, use this session as a time to release? And where am I feeling tension in my body? And sometimes going to the gym or doing burpees or jump squats, you know, you will get a sort of release. You will get a workout, but will you experience the same amount of joy? And will you be able to emotionally release some of the stuff that has been trapped in your body? There is something really to be said about intuitive movement and the fact that dance is primal. Our ancestors have done it you know, it was, it's, it was like a ceremony. There's a reason people love to go to concerts and move and clap. And so I think that there's just this primal aspect of dancing and a lot of people don't do it because, well, they feel like they're too old. They feel like they're not good enough. They feel, they feel all these things. And, and what I'm trying to preach to people in my program is who cares about all that? Look at the benefits. The benefits completely supersede all the reasons why you would feel embarrassed to do it, you know, forget the rest, the, the benefits for your brain, for your body, for your mind, for your spirit, that is so powerful when you combine that all together. And I love that there's so much science coming out on it. And I love that you, I love that you gave yourself the opportunity to take what you learned in class and use it in your darker times, use it when you're having a a crappy day and you're like, I have to do this task and I don't want to do it. And there, that's a perfect, perfect example of utilizing dance as a powerful tool in your life to become more resilient, to feel more power, to feel more joy. That's exactly, I mean, you hit the nail on the head. And I just want to ask you one, one more question before, before we wrap up you know, for people who are maybe watching at home, is there something that you could maybe share aside from what we've already talked about of why the Dance to Heal program would be right for them and why you believe that it is a powerful investment to make? It's, it'll change your life. You know, they talk about runner's high. It takes a long time to get a runner's high. I, as you were talking, I was thinking this program was an instant high for me for multiple reasons. And when I dance, it's an instant high. A runner's high takes lots of running. (laughs) And those other workouts that you do, you do feel good, but you feel good after. This is feeling good immediately. And I'm, you know, maybe I'm a little like, you know, what what is it called? Instant gratification. But I want to have fun. I want to move. I want to feel, I don't care about feeling young because I hate that mentality. I just want to feel good. And I want, and plus my husband likes when I dance. (laughs) 
Uh, he enjoys it and I enjoy it and it puts me in a better mood. You cannot be in a bad mood when you're dancing with Melody. You can't be. It's like you can't be watching her and dancing and listening to this music and moving and be pissed or angry. It's just so, you know, that was one of the questions I asked myself was why did I wait so long to invest in myself? The 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 investment is everything. It was worth my life. It gave me me back. It gave me me back. And I like me now. I really do. I, you know, I'm, I'm done with my, my self deprecation. I, I like who I am because it's the only me I have. And, uh, and dance gives me that dance and music and being silly is me and I love it. So thank you. I, I've told you that since the beginning. And <clears throat> when I watched how you were I hate to keep going back to the Havana video, but I've showed so many people that video and it's this special generosity that you have when you're touching people's lives and you're showing them what to do and you're just being yourself in this humble, generous, loving way. I just think the world of you and I think the world of this program, I, I, I am so lucky to to have come across you and to have had this given back to me. I can't go put my mini skirt and cowboy boots and go back to, you know, whatever the clubs were that I danced in when I was 21. But I, I get to do this here and I get to be part of, you know, community. I think you're such a special human and you're so articulate. And it's just an honor to have crossed paths with you in this beautiful way. And I feel lucky that you're a part of our community. I really, really love your story and I love your honesty. And I think that the way we can wrap up is that this program, it isn't a one quick fix to having the perfect life. And it isn't even aspiring to that. It's actually, it's a tool to help you enjoy every moment of your life. It's, it's a tool to help you become more present in your life, to become more grounded, to become more balanced and understand that there is this duality, the darkness in your life, it's, it, it's going to persist and, and the light will too. And they exist together. But when you're dancing through it, it is so much more enjoyable. It's so much more freeing. It's liberating. It's beautiful. And it really creates almost like a supernatural connection with yourself and others. And it's insane. I, just... I, I couldn't even really put it into words. It's insane. It's, <laughs> it's insane. Yeah. I, I never had this feeling about myself before. I was also self-conscious and this connection is insane. It's just great. I love that. I love it. I it's love a, that you bring connection. this to the world. Thank you so much. And if you're watching at home, I am launching Dance to Heal. And I'm so, so excited to share this program with you. It is actually the most in-depth training that I've ever done. And I've taken everything I've learned in the past eight years of dancing and teaching with the intention of releasing. So again, if you haven't watched our past videos, in the series, please go do that. I share a lot of valuable information. And this course is going to be a rare opportunity and we're going to launch it. And I only have a few spots. So in the next video, I am going to give you more instructions on how you can get on the early bird wait list so that you are the first to know about this course. So stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.